In the early 1900s, Hawaiians recognized and acknowledged the watermen amongst them, and it was a prestigious honor to be regarded as such. Today, there is a strong feeling, however, amongst the ocean sports community that the title has been diluted. So what is the true definition of a waterman? Surfers back in the 40s and the 50s who, you know, were really true watermen because, first of all, they had to carry a 100-pound surfboard down to the beach. Well, they were adept in not just surfboard riding, but long distance paddling, canoeing, um, fishing, diving, anything that had to do with the ocean. Being a waterman is definitely more than being a really good surfer. And, and I think that term waterman is pretty significantly overused and abused, honestly. Basically, the word waterman has been abused. You know, uh, in my view, a waterman is someone that lives the life and you do it because that's what you do. I see a lot of these journalists in surfing call some of these surfers who are absolutely incredible surfers, awesome watermen. And to me, they're not. They might be incredible surfers and maybe they do one or two other water sports good, but to me, that doesn't necessarily make a waterman. You know, people like Brian Kailana and Mel Pu'u and Laird, to me, uh, that's a waterman. I'd say that uh, guys like Laird and Kalama and Derek, in the context of modern watermen, they really fit the bill because they, um, they do much more than just surfing. They do all of it and they do it well. I've been surfing well over 30 years and when you do these things, you, you always walk away from that experience that you've learned something. Everything that you learn, you wanna share. You wanna share it with everybody. By sharing, you helping perpetuate the sport of being a waterman. The ocean sports culture is one that goes back centuries. With the art of riding waves long regarded as the sport of the elite or kings, the significance of the term waterman in Hawaiian tradition runs deep. This was a prestigious title that was awarded to those who showcased their ability to be comfortable and excel in the ocean, regardless of the conditions or the craft. But if you are a true warrior, waterman, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, it matters what you do and how you do it is what really matters and how you feel about what you're doing is the essence of being a true Hawaiian waterman. Aspiring watermen of today don't face the same challenges as these ancient pioneers, given the vast progress in technology. As a result, they have resorted to creating their own challenges, pitting their unique skills against nature's most powerful elements, the wind and the ever-changing waves. It's bad if you have guts without the brains because you can really get yourself into trouble. It seems to know. There's, it's like it's alive out there. And if you don't have that respect, it's going to teach it to you. That lesson could be it's not fatal. <laughs> In learning it, it's going to be very, very harsh. 